Monday night in the NBA. The ferocious tiger in the middle, Emeka Okafor and the New Orleans Hornets go up against the Miami Heat and their superstar foreman, master of the pick and pop, Chris Bosh. New Orleans, Miami, up next. And we see LeBron getting himself loosened up. NBA on Monday night. It doesn't get any better than this. Thank you for joining us. This is the last stop for the Hornets before returning home to New Orleans. Their last encounter was in New Orleans. Well, I think they squandered a lot of opportunities by trying to play catch up from downtown. I mean, if you're hitting 35, 40% from beyond the arc, okay, that's fine. That's one thing. But to keep banging your head against the wall when you're not getting through, that's not smart. And the starting lineup for the Hornets. Weston Okafor, the big bodies down low. Chris Paul and Marcus Thornton are in the backcourt. And Ariza. And for the Heat, LeBron and Bosch are the three and the four. Mike Miller is out there with Dwayne Wade and Ilgowskis. You know, Clark, considering the Heat were a team with so many free agents, a lot of whom knew they might not be coming back, they had remarkable chemistry in their locker room. Yeah, I think that's a credit to the character of the players, but also the coaching staff. But they did a great job of playing unselfishly and focusing on wins over individual numbers. And I, I think you'd have to give a lot of that credit to the leadership of Dwayne Wade, quite honestly, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, I was able to speak with Eric Spolster for a moment. He said, I'm really going to try and take advantage of our ability to block shots and protect the rim, hoping that the pressure they're able to apply on the perimeter forces players to dribble drive into the paint where no easy looks are waiting for them, guys. Thank you, Doris. And, and Clark, how often do we hear this from coaches? A lot, Kevin. You know that. A lot of times that's all coaches want to talk about is defense. It gets you easy scoring opportunities off long misses, steals, and blocks shot can get you in the transition if you defend well. Thornton, no good. And Clark, to expand on what you just said, a lot of the free agents were established veterans. Teams know what they can do individually, so the best thing they can do career-wise is, is just win. Yeah, I agree with you there. That's a great point, Kevin, but also it speaks to the organizational leadership from the front office and then you go into the locker room with Dwayne Wade and the organization itself feels stable. I think the players can settle in and focus on the things that are going to give you the best chance to win. Chris Paul so talented, a natural leader, both on and off the court, Clark. Yeah, he's been a godsend, Kevin, to the New Orleans community, helping the city rebuild. He's an avid bowler, so he hosts a celebrity bowling tournament to raise money for charity, among many other things. So he's been very involved in that community. And the first one drops. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. And Chris Paul stays tight with other NBA stars. He's forged a bond with LeBron and Dwayne Wade, Dwight Howard, a lot of guys. He's got such a charismatic personality, and a lot of times he'll let those friends stay at his house when they're in town, town to play the Hornets. I, I don't know exactly how that works out from a competitive standpoint, but you certainly like the gesture. That's a no-brainer. you got to stop the layup there. Make him earn his points from the line. And he makes the first. You know, Clark Way gets a lot of credit for his offense, and deservedly so, but I think in some circles he's a very underrated defender. What do you think? Yeah, I'll agree with you on that, Kevin. I mean, he isn't the biggest guard, but he can guard anyone at the position because of his speed, length, and strength. He's a pretty strong guy. And he can't hit the second. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Paul. His last outing, he had 24 points. Cuts off the pass. And more on Wade's defense. He is always the leader in blocks for a guard at Yeah, he's one of those guys that has a knack for being able to get to shots either from behind 
or from the side. So, you know, he averaged over one block a game last season, which was really on par with what he's done his whole career. You factor in his steal numbers, and you can see that he's a dangerous defender as well. And again, no good by New Orleans. On defense, the Hornets trailing by four. Miller inside. 14 points from him, the last game against Sacramento. And off the glass as he lays that one up and in. Here's Paul. It bounces out of bounds after the shot. A chance now to check out the NBA's most efficient scores. Now you look at Bosch, so solid around the basket, currently third in the league. All players occasionally go through hot and cold streaks, but over the course of the regular season, he has shot a high percentage, and that's made him a go-to guy for his team. Best try, best try. Wade kicks to Miller. The kick out to Bosch. Baseline jumper. Reza snatches it inside. Really not enough defensive pressure there to force that miss. He's got to be disappointed. LeBron against Paul. Here's West, nails the easy jumper. West has got his first two points of the night. And finally, Kev, they get one to fall. Man, it's been a struggle here to start this game. Here's Miller, nails it from close range. No way to argue with that shot. I mean, if you get it that close to the hoop, those will go up with it strong right away. Here's Paul, averaging 14 points a game. Wade is covering. Here's Ariza. Off the mark from three. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. LeBron with it. Playing Sacramento, he was nearly unstoppable. Just five on the clock. The jump off. Here's Ilgoskis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. They're really giving them all they can handle here. The defense is having a hard time keeping up. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Eight-point game. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Here's a reason. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Bosch against West. Here's a reason. And he jams it in beautifully. That's the way to exploit the D right there now. Wait for an opening and don't give him a chance to recover. Well, Clark, he's going to make you pay for those slip-ups. Yeah, he sure takes advantage of every one of them. Never misses a thing. Our Sprite slam cam, that is, with that last replay. Here's Wade. The Hornets making the shot. Deflects the pass. As we grind through the season, let's see how the East is shaping up. You look at Miami. Right now, they're off to a fast start. First place in the conference. And, of course, the Magic. Right there with them. They're all tied atop the standings. 
The Heat making a switch here. Howard's checked in. Wait, wait, wait. Here's Wade. A 32-point game for him in the win against the Kings in Sacramento. Shot clock at five. The shot, no good. The Hornets go the other way with the ball. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. You know, they just struggle to make shots. And sometimes with teams, when they're missing shots, it has a way to take other parts of their game down, too. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Kevin, Emeka Okafor, really one of the true scholars of the NBA. When he got his first B in fourth grade, he actually cried. He graduated high school with a 4.3 GPA. He graduated the University of Connecticut in just three years with a 3.95 GPA and a degree in business. But Okafor emphasizes that just because he's bookish off the court doesn't change how he approaches basketball, saying, quote, as soon as I'm on the court, it's instinct. Kevin? Interesting. Thanks, Doris. And Bosch backs down. Sinks it from about nine feet out. Bosch has got his first points of the night. While taking the most shots per game in his career last season, Clark Bosch also had the best field goal percentage of his career. And that's impressive. I mean, when you go, when you increase in volume, a lot of times that percentage will go down, but it, it speaks to Bosch's savvy IQ and discipline as a um, guy who took good shots consistently. So his career definitely is ascending. Oh, knows. without I think yeah. he's very much in the prime with a lot of good basketball hmm. ahead of him. Bellinelli, he's checked in for the Hornets. Here's Ariza, right now averaging 11 points a game. West, four seconds left. That's good. West has got six. Back to Bosch. He really was counted on a lot last season by that Toronto team. Without question, Kevin, when you have his kind of ability and personality, you automatically become a go-to guy, and I think he's handled it well throughout his career so far. Now here's LeBron. Fades back. No good from Wade. Clark, go back a year ago, this Miami team was tied with the Bucks for third best in defensive efficiency in the NBA. Yeah, you know, you look at Wade, but it does show you that it's a team effort when you talk about being effective at the defensive end of the floor. And Miami has possession, following the score by New Orleans. From about 16, hangs it home. And the Heat lead by four. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. You brought up total team effort on the defense. Is defense more about schemes, Clark, and communication than, say, personnel? Not more, but clearly it's more than just personnel. It's a combination of personnel, but schemes and communication are very important. As a matter of fact, I would say personnel, communication, and then schemes. And that one misses. Hornets had a down season last year, but West kept plugging away, doing what David West always does best. And what he always does is come close to 20 points and 10 rebounds a night. His rebound totals took a dip last year, as did his scoring, but he was much better percentage-wise. And the Heat making a change here. He hits the second from the line. Here's Chalmers. 235 left in the first. Here's Ilgoskis. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. Clark with West, do you think he's a, a true barometer for the Hornets? Yeah, I do in a sense, Kevin. But the better the Hornets are, the more he'll show up on the stat sheet. The first free throw is good. Well, this guy is a real pro. Zadrunas Ilgowska, 7-3, 13th year out of Lithuania, Clark. Last season, he set a record for games played in a Cleveland Cavs uniform. Special player. Yeah, he really is. And one of the most popular players in the history of um, Cleveland sports teams, not just the Cavaliers. Um, he was traded away um, around the trading deadline in the Antoine Jameson trade, uh, was waived, and then returned to the team. 
but he started to show his age a little bit, but a remarkable career considering the foot injuries he had early on. Those are good points. Here's Miller, deflected. And here is Thornton. And West backs in. Takes the shot. Drains the easy jumper. West has got nine. Here's Chalmers. 153 left in the first quarter. Here's Wade. Oh! And he dunks that one through. This is one of the NBA's most skilled finishers. And it's not hard to tell why. Well, he is one hard man for a defense to deal with. Here's Thornton. The Heat getting the bucket. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. And now, Let's look now at which teams have been the hottest offensively for the past 10 games. Taking a look at Miami. Leading the league in scoring. Definitely the most high-powered running-gun offense in the league. The fans love it. Well, this is only a trend over a few games out of a very, very long season. But the coach has got to be pleased that his team has been able to score big with some consistency. And the Hornets making a change here. Well, again, three turnovers already. The coach has to make a point to them that they need to take better care of the ball. Handle it like you want it. Here's Chalmers. All alone. And then Wade slams it in. Here's Paul. They trail by seven. From 18 feet away. Kept alive. Here's Gray. And good. They convert on the second chance. Nice. Big momentum builders, those second chance points. Well, Heat leading by five. Now Chalmers. Wade, right side. It falls short. Here are the Hornets with the ball. Trailing by five. Miller against Paul. West inside. From 18 feet away. And Chris Paul the bucket on the assist by Paul. You've got to close out on that mid-range jump shot. So it's Miami now. Three-point lead. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. You, you look at where they really impacted the flow in this one. And it was in getting a hold of the loose balls. And taking advantage of the lack of ball control at the other end of the court. I tell you what, Kevin, both teams have been on a tear. This could be a very high-scoring game. Here comes Mario Jomer. No good. Tie game and some big points being put up on the board. Clark, as we wrap up the first. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. December 17th, LeBron James and the Miami Heat go up against Amari Stoudemire and the New York Knicks. Do not miss it. Close game here at the start of the second quarter of play.
Here's LeBron. So with Bosch on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Ilgowskis is out there with Haslam. Then there's Arroyo, and it's LeBron James and Beverly. Blocking foul, and the bucket. Fantastic shot. He's just too quick for his man. Left him in the rearview mirror and knocked it down. Free throw good, LeBron. For LeBron James, last season ended with another tough defeat. This time, Clark, courtesy of the Boston Celtics. And it's got to be frustrating for him, Kevin, to be the MVP, to have the best record in the league, but yet again, meet defeat before you can even get back to the finals. Disappointing. And uh, let's go to Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have for us? Hey, Kevin. Well, obviously an exciting year for the Miami Heat. It seems like the excitement has not died down, even maybe grown since the signing of LeBron and Chris Bosh to play alongside D-Wade. Every game is a big game when you're going up against this assemblage of talent. And for the Heat fans, Kevin, they can't get enough. As the new chemistry comes together for a rejuvenated Miami team, especially as we see them play more games together. Back to you. Well, their excitement, understandable. Superstar team constructed almost overnight. And Clark talking about LeBron. He didn't seem himself as the Celtics closed them out. You know, the elbow injury and everything, it just wasn't him. Yeah, certainly. At one point, that elbow injury caused him to shoot free throws left-handed, but I think it was more the Celtics than the injury. That was definitely a factor. You're right. No good. And New Orleans will take it the other way. The Heat with only 24 wins at home last season, Clark. You'd expect more than that from the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, but they made up for it with a good road record, which was a little surprising but necessary. Um, they do need to do a better job of protecting their home court, though. I got it. I got it. Stolen away. He read that pass like a book all over. Goes up. Heil drives it in to finish the break. Excellent defense, and the steal earns them a quick bucket in transition. Ron right side and almost gets it to go so he'll shoot two here and that lack of protection you just mentioned came back to haunt them in the playoffs yeah exactly right if they hold serve at home against the Celtics Kevin it changes the whole series but the inability to win at home and they get eliminated early that free throw no good Last season, LeBron James' second consecutive season as the league MVP. And he dominated, Kevin. He was second in the league in scoring, sixth in assists, top ten in steals. Not surprising, he led the league in triple doubles, too, with four. He was terrific. Both teams deciding to change it up. So he can't get either to fall. The Hornets trail. How many more MVPs, Clark, do you think LeBron will win when it's all said and done? Well, it'll be multiple, Kevin. I think he could very well get close to that six or seven number if he stays healthy. Bellinelli with the three, and it's LeBron James with the rebound. Boy, he had a good look. I think everyone here was a bit shocked to see that one not fall through. Bellinelli is covering. A strong finish to throw it down, and he'll go to the line for one more. He can get up there, boy. Forget about it. That was spectacular. I think that got both benches off their seats. Yeah, they're still standing. <laughs> Free throw good, LeBron. An excellent game we've seen from LeBron. He has 12 points, and he's still working hard for those rebounds. He's rolling, trying to put them on his back right here. Here's Thornton. Rackens backs in. Miller on the rebound. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. LeBron outside. With the fadeaway, and Bosch gets it to go on the assist by LeBron. Bosch has got his second bucket of the night. The Hornets trail by six. Here's Thornton. 
averaging 20 points per game. Millinelli for three. And again, New Orleans has no luck. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Thornton with it. He's against Miller. Thornton with it. Poked away. Here's Pondexter, covered by LeBron. Shot clock at three, and the basket by Thornton. Here's LeBron, four-point game. Miller outside. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Miller's got his third basket of the night right there. And here is Thornton. The baseline J, and he hits the jumper for two. They narrow it to five. Here's Wade, leading by five. Pass to Bucks. And it's the Hornets with the ball. It's a five-point game to the paint. And now that we have a chance, let's show you the NBA's top thieves. This is the list of this month's steals leaders. Second is Dwayne Wade. Boy, it's been a great few weeks for him, Kevin, especially when you look at what he's done defensively. His effort there has kind of reminded me of the Tasmanian Devil. And he's actually helped his team create scoring opportunities off its defense. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Howard's checked in, and it's Chalmers in for Mike Miller. And the Hornets making a change here. Millinelli for three, and it's LeBron James with the rebound. This is one of the key reasons why they're losing. You have to get more production out of your core star player. Pass to Bosch. Tipped. I think this quarter particularly, we're seeing them having trouble keeping possession of the ball. Far, far too many turnovers right now. Now here's Paul. It's dumped off. Here's West. And that one goes and stayed with it, even with the contact and a free throw coming up. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. David West playing well. 12 points and a pretty good rebounding performance from him also. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. We get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. But look at the Mavericks. Long way to go still in the season, but even so, they've got the top spot. And checking out New Orleans. Just need to take it a game at a time. Here's Chalmers. Under five minutes left in the second. LeBron against Ariza. Here's Bosch. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. It's going to be on David West. A new team for Chris Bosch. What do you think about it, Clark? Well, you know what? I think his time in Toronto was pretty much done. He seemed to be frustrated with the direction of the franchise and decided that a change was necessary. Do you blame him? Not at all. The first free throw is good.
No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And with Bosch in mind for him to come stateside, do you think he'll have a chance to become an even bigger star now that he'll be uh, in the lower 48? Well, I think certainly he'll get a little more attention in the lower 48, but he was um, around the league anyway. Very much respected. True. Now I think the casual fan will appreciate who he is and what he does more. And I think he's really going to come out strong too, don't you? He'll look to play with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> you bet. Here's Chalmers. Wade outside. Here's Bosch. Miami no good on that time either. Kevin, that's the kind of shot you want. You can't ask for better execution on offense, but sometimes they just don't fall. Paul passes to Bellinelli. Back to Paul. Dumps it off. Three on the clock. A second left. Kept alive. Here's Ariza. Hits the tray. Ariza's got seven points in the game. The defense made the mistake of playing off him, and he drained it from deep. And the Heat call time here. And now, introducing Grizz. Here is Howard. Wade outside. Pass to LeBron. Now Chalmers. Chris Paul covering. Off the pick. Chalmers shot is no good. One of the ways where they've shown a definite edge, Kevin, has come on the glass today. Here's Bellinelli. Defended by Chalmers. And stolen by Chalmers. Ariza against Wade. Pass to LeBron. And the bucket is good. Now he'll get a trip to the stripe. A three-point play opportunity. I like the job they're doing. A much better job of getting him involved in the offense here in the second quarter. A different look for Miami. Anthony's checked in. And Mike Miller subbed in for Dwayne Wade. New Orleans also making some changes. Aaron Gray, he's checked in for Okafor. And it's Thornton in for Bellinelli. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Here's Paul. 2.45 left in the half. Here's Ariza. He's off from three. D gave him a little cushion and it worked out for him. Here's LeBron. 15 points in the game. Myers from 14. Arroyo can't get it to go. In the best of circumstances, that's going to be a tough shot for him. And that was not the best of circumstances. Paul kicks it to West. Here's Ariza. Ariza with another miss. You know, the defense sagged off on him, but he still wasn't able to drop the three. You won't get too many good looks like that. Here's Bosch. Miami no good on that time either. It's not been a day to remember, but if they get the win, I'm sure being the team player that he is, he'll be fine. Shoot it, shoot it. 
Thornton with it. And West backs in. Over Arroyo. Shots good from West. West has got 14 points for the game. He's really one of the big reasons why they have the lead now. He's playing an extremely efficient game. It's fun to watch. Timeout called the Heat. Quick look now at the best free throw shooting teams. You look at Miami. Top five in the NBA. Really solid. A team you don't want to foul. As I said, this is one of the better free throw shooting teams this season. Everybody's been doing their job from the charity strike. They're actually taking advantage of free throws because they're knocking them down. And they double them up with LeBron. Reza ties it up. And that's a jump ball. The Hornets get the tip. Here are the Hornets with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Ball against Miller. Takes the turnaround, Jay. LeBron grabs the miss. Now a Royal. And here is James. To the left wing. Here's Anthony. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the New Orleans Hornets. They'll be meeting up with the Jams. And that game is the second of two straight at home. No good on the free throw. A different look for Miami. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for LeBron. Wade comes in for Mike Miller. And it's Chalmers in for Carlos Arroyo. The Hornets also changing it up. Omeka Okafor is checked in for Gray. Pondexter comes in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Bellinelli in for Chris Paul. And the second free throw, good. Here's Thornton. 32 seconds left in the second. And West backs in. Shoots. Drops it in from 12 feet. West has got 16 points. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team it. That's your only hope. And Bosch backs down. Let's go with a three. Chalmers' shot is no good. He's really struggled to get into any kind of comfortable flow here. Zero points this quarter. And he really doesn't look like himself out there. And so we wrap up the first half. David West playing well. 16 points and five rebounds. What an opening half that was for him. Hornets lead by two. For tuning in to HP at the half. The season now in full swing. The New Orleans Hornets have the lead against the Heat over at American Airlines Arena. Extra possessions almost too easy to come by. They've piled up the second chance buckets. David West really playing effortlessly. At the break, 16 points. It's not missed many shots so far. Everything's falling. And it was a good first half as well for the Heat. They're playing aggressive D, poking the ball loose, coming up with a ton of steals. Through two quarters, LeBron in complete control. 
He's got 15 points. He's been getting it done on both ends of the court. Look at the assists. Look at the rebounds. It's all adding up to a great first half. These two have been on their game tonight. They've led the way for their teams in the scoring department. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan and Clark Kellogg calling your game. I'll see you next time. Well, it's been a tight game as we enter the second half. Both teams going at it. Here's Wade. Seven points in the game. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Monty Williams. Chris Paul and Marcus Thornton are in the backcourt. Weston Okafor, the big body is down low. And Ariza. LeBron, no good. New Orleans in the lead. They host the Kings after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Back to West. Fades away. No luck. And Miami will go the other way with the ball. Now here's James. He's got 15. Wade outside. Ariza covering. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to be on David West. Last season, another dominant offensive showing by Dwayne Wade. He's one of the very best in the business. It has been since he stepped foot in the league. Last year, fifth in the league in scoring at almost 27 a game. He was top 10 in assists and fourth in free throws made. Boy, some impressive numbers. Very much so. Okafer with the ball. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Miller against Paul. Covered by Miller. Paul passes to West. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Here's Miami now. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Ariza kicks to Paul. Wade picks him up. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got his second basket of the night. Here's LeBron. Right now averaging 25 points a game. Wade outside. Pass to Bosch. Fires top of the key. Kept alive. Il Costas. And he drops it in on the layup. He's got six. You can't forget about him when you're boxing out. That's what he does. He crashes the glass. Paul passes to West. Here's Thornton, covered by Miller. Here's West, nets it from the wing. West has got 18 points. Here's LeBron, he's got 15. Wade outside, and taken away by Paul. Wade picks him up. Paul against Wade. Wade against Paul. West inside. He's got 18. And it's New Orleans scoring again. When his hook shot is on, there's nothing you can do defensively. It's almost a given he's going to knock it down. And the Heat call time here. Here's Ilgauskas. Six points for him. Here's Wade. Drops it in off the fadeaway. 
Wade's got 11 points. Here's Paul. A two-point game. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. These players have excelled at setting up their teammates this month. The 2K leaderboard shows us the recent assist leaders. Well, you look at Paul, currently fifth in the league in assists. Such court vision. Well, this kind of ball distribution is necessary for a team to succeed now and later in the season. If he can keep it up, I think more guys on the squad will get involved and produce at a higher level. Now here's Paul. I got ball. I got ball. I love it. Wade is covering. Here's Okafor. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. But they say Emeka Okafor is a fanatical uh, guy about his stretching. It does it morning, before games, all the time. He always wants to be loose. Boy, the more time you spend in the NBA, Kevin, the more emphasis you put on taking care of your body. And stretching is a big part of that. And the first one at the line is good. Second free throw, no good. And when you have spent time on the injured reserve list like Okafor has, you want to take care of your body with the stretching you mentioned. What's nice for him is that it's been three straight years for him where he's played a full season, and uh, maybe his stretching has gotten him past those early um, career injuries. Now here's Wade following the miss by David West. And LeBron James gets it to go. He's been extremely active out there, and he has the stats to prove it. Terrific hustle. Ball outside. And West backs in. Over Bosch. Shots good from West. West has got 22. Beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. LeBron against Ariza. Back to Wade. Fades back. Can't get it to go. And New Orleans will take it the other way. Here's Paul. He has five. Back to Okafer. Working on Ilgauskas. Shoots from the post. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. That one is on Ilgauskas. And he knocks down the first one. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Had a miss on that trip, but still made this a two-possession lead. Ariza against Wade. Reza covering. Shot clock at five. Ogowskis in the post, covered by Okafor. David West grabs the miss. The Hornets leading by four. Paul with the ball. 
and West backs in. Ariza kicks to Paul. Back to Ariza. Flushes it in. And look at how he posed on the rim for a few seconds after that one. That's never going to endear you to your opponents. They don't like that kind of stuff. No, he was enjoying that one so much he didn't want to let go. Yeah, I think he was throwing salt in the wound, though. And here are the Heat. They trail by six. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Wade. Defended by Paul. Easy shot. And it's Ilgowskis missing. The D served it up on the platter, and he still wasn't able to convert. He's got to be disappointed. And stolen by LeBron. So it's Miami now. Six-point game. Wade outside. Pass to Bosch. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Bosch has got his third bucket of the night. Now Paul. He has five. Behind the arc. It's rebounded by Bosch. The Heat trail by four. And here's Wade. LeBron James on the wing. He's guarded by Thornton. LeBron's shot is good. Here's Paul. About three and a half minutes left in the third. West. Here's Thornton. And West backs in. Thornton with it. Five on the clock. Ilgowskis against Okafor. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That one is on Ilgowskis. And a moment to check out Miami and who they've got coming up. They'll be facing the New York Knicks. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. The first one falls for him. Udonis Haslam. He's checked in for Miami. Chalmers comes in for LeBron. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Wade. 11 points in the game. Now Chalmers. Defended by Paul. Baseline jumper. Haslam can't get it to go. Both teams really matching up well on the board. We've got ourselves a pretty good game here, Kevin. Uh -huh. Paul outside. Five to shoot. Pondexter covered by Miller. A nice shot by Pondexter. Right now, he's just too good, Kevin. Way too good. They need to bring a second defender and try to make him give up the ball. Chalmers against Paul. Chalmers passed away. On the wing, Miller. The tray. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Miller's got 10 points. The Hornets leading by three. Paul outside. And West backs in. Another one falls for New Orleans. He's been a go-to guy for him here in the quarter, doing an outstanding job putting the ball in the basket. And here is Chalmers. At the floater, it's blocked. That's really not the kind of performance that his team needs from him here in this quarter. Now here's Paul. Covered by Miller. And count that bucket right there. He keeps with it, and now a free throw shot for him. First personal foul. At the line for the Hornets. Chris Paul. Shooting 
and he makes the free throw. Looking at the game for Paul, he's got eight points and two steals as well. He's showing us those quick hands today, both when he has the ball and when he doesn't. Chalmers against Paul. Chalmers, pass to Augustus. On the line, that's good, and so Chalmers with the assist. He's got eight. Nice screen to set up the J. Excellent offensive execution right there. Here's Pondexter, covered by Miller. West kicks to Paul. Now Bellinelli. Wade is covering. Two on the clock. Another one falls for New Orleans. Here's Chalmers. They can end up with a final possession depending on how they play the clock. Here's Wade. The shot no good. The Hornets leading by eight. Here's Bellinelli. He has five. Jacks up the triple. It's rebounded by Zadrunas Ogalskis. And here we go with Dwayne Wayne. Eight-point game. And that one barely misses as he draws contact. Two free throws coming up. The first one falls, so both teams making some changes here. Both free throws good from Wade. Here's Thornton. For three, no good. And the third quarter is over, and a good finish looks to be in store for all of us. An exceptional performance from David West. Yeah, he's really been a big scorer for them. Not normally his role on this team. That's icing on the cake as far as they're concerned. Live from Miami, we're back in a moment. This Tuesday, Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic go up against Carmelo Anthony and the Denver Nuggets. Hoops action. Now while we've got a moment, we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for our Spark of the Game. Presented by Sprite. Doris? Well, Kevin, our spark of the game in this one, the stretch by the Hornets. They caught fire offensively in the second quarter and took control right there, gentlemen. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here's Thornton. So with Bosch on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Has him's out there with LeBron James. Then there's Arroyo and Anthony. Gray. Shot is no good. And it's the Heat taking it the other way. Outside Anthony. Beverly. No good from the low block. The Hornets leading by six. Thornton with it. From deep. Kept alive. Here's Pondexter. Anthony with the block. And here are the Heat. They trail by six. Now LeBron. Releases from 15. And that's collected by Gray. 
You got to expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Here's Thornton. And again, no good by New Orleans. The defense couldn't close out on the mid-range, Jay, and the shooter made him pay. Beverly, it takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. Good defensive footwork shut down this path to the basket. Here's Thornton. Reckons trains it for three. And the Hornets lead by nine. Finally, somebody found the bottom of the net. Man, oh man, oh man. LeBron outside from deep three-point range. Scooped up. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Contact certainly all through that shot. The official was right on top of it. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Thornton. And Gray backs down. Pulls the trigger. The shot misses. And Miami will go the other way with the ball. Here's LeBron. Count it. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. That one is on a reason. Well, he did an excellent job there to finish through contact. He felt the foul, but didn't let it distract him. And the Hornets making a change here. Free throw good, LeBron. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. It's Ariza on the wing, covered by LeBron. That's pretty smart defense to let him take those shots. He's picked up by Ariza. James, the pass to Augustus. Tipped away and stolen by Ariza. Not a single turnover in the first half for him, Kevin, but that ball control he had, it seems to have slipped away since halftime. Paul. Pass to Okafor. Working on Elgauskas. A fadeaway. And it's Okafor missing. The Heat trail by four. Wade outside. The outside leaner. Banks it home. Here's Paul. Right around seven minutes left in the fourth. Thornton with it. He's against Miller. You have to question his shot selection, Kevin. Poor shots equal bricks and misses. Now here's Wade. He's guarded by Thornton. We've seen D-Wade getting it done. He has 15 points and five assists. There's been no let up from him defensively or offensively. Makes it and the next one could tie it up. And he ties it up. 
Here's Paul. About six and a half minutes left in the game. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Guys, over that last break, I listened to Monty Williams address his team. He said, guys, we've been proving people wrong all season. Plenty of people doubted we'd ever get this far, but we believed in ourselves. Then he said, we're still in this thing, but you've got to play hard, and we've got to play together. Sound advice, Kevin. It stays here. Almost picked it off. Still, nice hustle there to deflect the pass out of bounds. Here's Okafor. Pass to Paul. Thornton with it. Will it go? And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. Now here's LeBron. Takes it up and dunked in. Great play on the feed. My goodness, Kevin. Their offense has really caught fire. And if this keeps up, they won't be behind for long. Here's Paul. Under six minutes left to the fourth. Wade is covering. Wade against Paul. From about 19 feet. Connects. Here's LeBron. He dishes it. And here's Wade. Here's Haslam. And Miller backs down. Just five to shoot. And that one's good. They've really flipped the script here. Their hustle at both ends has got them back into this one. New Orleans in the lead. Ball outside. Okafer backs in. And here's Horton outside. No good. Well, you can really tell that his confidence has been shaken a bit here in the fourth. This is a time when you want to shine and not regress. He's got to get his confidence back. Now here's Wade. He's picked up by Ariza. Back to LeBron to take the lead. Kept alive. Here's Haslam. Knocks down the open jumper. I thought that was a real good job to look for the shot they wanted and then be patient enough to wait for it. Wait against Paul. Throws it up. And the basket by Thornton. He hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but he's worked within the team concept to help them get the lead. He's done some other things other than scoring to help his team get the lead here. Now here's LeBron. LeBron, left side. And the jumper falls for him. Here's Paul. With an assist this trip down, he'd have 10 for the game. From deep, Horton. It's rebounded by Zadrunas Ogalskis. He's had some problems finding the range here in this quarter. Now here's LeBron. He's picked up by Ariza. Here's Haslam. 
and closing the shot even with the foul now the two free throws And the first one drops. You know, you've got to like the fact that they're getting to the line. And on top of that, they're making their free throws in this half. That bodes well going forward. Chris Bosch has checked in for Zadrunas Ilgauskas. David West, he's checked in for the Hornets. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Paul. Just over three minutes left in the game. Here's Thornton. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Right now, he hasn't been able to deliver for him. He's having difficulty finding the range. I think he has to step inside a little bit more. Okafor against Wade. The baseline, Jay. And that one's good by LeBron. Efficiency. That's what he's bringing to the team right here in the fourth quarter. Efficient execution. Called here, the Hornets decide to talk it over. They're losing by five. 2.43 left to the fourth. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for the Heat. Here's a reason. And it's D. Wade with the rebound. He's got to break out of this slump if his team wants a chance to win. LeBron with it. From downtown. And there's Mario Chalmers on the assist by LeBron. They're doing a good job of playing inside-out basketball. In other words, they're forcing the defense to collapse, and that leaves somebody on the perimeter open. And that guy is getting the ball on time and in rhythm. Thornton with it. Wade is covering. Al Thornton. Just three to shoot. Ariza. They need this. Ariza with another miss. That shot didn't have a chance. He doesn't have the softest touch, and the defense was in his jersey. Got to look for a better shot. Here's Chalmers. And good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. The end one is good, so a three-point play that time. Here's Paul. 143 left in the game. It's stolen by Wade. Pass to LeBron. He's picked up by Ariza. And here is Chalmers. Defended by Paul. Here's Bosch. Blocked. New Orleans now, time running out. 11 point game. Paul. Here's West. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. It's on Chris Bosch.
free throw missing. Sinks the second, and that brings them within 10. They can't afford too many missed free throws, Kev. They need every point they can get. Pass to LeBron. Fires from the elbow. The shot is off. And New Orleans will take it the other way. And here is Paul. Here's Thornton. Baseline jumper. The shot's good from Paul. That's exactly the way you practice it. Hit the open man for the great look. Here's Chalmers. Here's Miami now. They're on an 18-7 run. Now here's LeBron. Releases from 15. Nails the bank shot. LeBron's now got 30 points. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. They're down by 10. 29 seconds left to the fourth. Here's Paul. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. That's a good call by the referee. There was definitely some contact on the release of the shot. the first that brings them within single digits. And so Paul nails both of them. Here's Wade. They're in a good position here to ride it out. They certainly are. If they just play smart here, this game's all but over. Chalmers against Paul. Okafor against Bosch. Down to five on the shot clock. And another basket for Miami. Kevin, yeah, it's all but over now. They're doing whatever they want out there. With the fadeaway, and Chris Paul hits from deep. And so it's Miami winning this one. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan Brand presents... Our player of the game, LeBron James.